Well, hello everybody and welcome. My name is Roger and this is your daily tarot map for Friday, November 18th, 2016. Using tarot to create the life you want. So happy Friday, everybody. Welcome to the weekend. Uh, hopefully you have some fun, fun plans for the weekend. So this week we are working with the Modern Spellcasters Tarot with the art created by Scott Murphy and the companion book written by Melanie Marquis. And the three cards drawn randomly from the deck today were the Ten of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups, and the Six of Cups. So I'm getting a really strong message of family uh, tradition and family support from, uh, from these cards today. So the first card in our draw is the Ten of Pentacles. And this is a card of home, family, and security. It's a card about tending to family issues, and it's often uh, associated with generational ideas such as inheritance, family tradition, uh, long-term investments, uh, family honor or loyalty, um, and, uh, finance, and financial planning. So as an advice card, the Ten of Pentacles suggests focus on the family, especially building family wealth and security. But I'm also seeing here a need to maintain contact with extended family members as well. So, you know, it's not uncommon for family members to, to drift apart and to lose contact with one another. But losing contact with those extended family members causes us to not only lose a part of our history and family lore, but also a part of our support network. You know, in the past, the family was available to help to help each other in times of crisis. For, uh, for often, fa it's family members who had the resources that we might need. You know, this is still true in some families, but for many, it's not. So what I'm getting here today is the idea that we need to take an active role in maintaining those relationships. And I'm talking not only about extended family or current family members, but also with friends. And uh, this is well illustrated by our second card, the Knight of Cups. And here we see a knight in armor traveling. He looks like he's pretty, going pretty fast on a large fish. So for this knight, relationships and emotions are very important. And given that he's had a right turn of card of, a, of children, generations, and nostalgia, you know, I'm seeing this as kind of a nudge for some of us to keep those lines of communication open with family and friends. So given that nights could also be about travel, you know, this might entail a long distance visit to some long lost family or, or simply regularly contacting those loved ones who live far away. So maybe make an extra effort to send cards for birthdays or anniversaries or special occasions and try to become more involved in the lives of these people. Like my mother used to say, would it kill you to pick up the phone? So um, this message is further illustrated by our last card, the Six of Cups. So here we see two children playing uh, with an older couple in the background, uh, possibly grandparents. So very often the Six of Cups is about reconnection with our past. So here again, we see that idea of communicating with those people uh, who we perhaps haven't seen in a while. You know, in this way, those relationships are there and will be there for your children uh, or your family members to carry forward. So it takes an extra effort on our part to keep those relationships alive, but, but to lose them, to lose our family history and our identity, uh, our support network, is a catastrophe. So today, recognize the importance of family in your life and take steps to reconnect with those that you may have lost contact with. Your life will become much richer as a result. So uh, the message today for these three cards is, in every conceivable manner, the family is a link to our past, a bridge to our future. Though we may travel the world in search of what we need, often it's when we return home that we find it. So today's advice card comes from the Wisdom of Hidden Realms Oracle by Colette Baron reed And the card drawn randomly from the deck today is the Ice Queen. 
So the Ice Queen, she's about inaction, about putting things on hold. You know, we've already talked about how easy it is to lose contact with people in our busy, hectic lives. So maybe in order to renew those bonds and reconnect, we need to stop focusing so much on our busyness and, uh, and move family and friends to the top of our to-do list. You know, this is a good opportunity for us to take a breather from what we think is important and focus on what really is. And um, that's your daily tarot map for today. Uh, if you like this video, I'd appreciate it if you click the like button. And you can visit my website at tarot-dude.com to learn more about me and my work. And also, if you haven't yet subscribed to this channel, I'd appreciate it if you would. And that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Brightest blessings.